Motorsport TV Live, brought to you by Motorsport Tickets, the dedicated motorsport experiences provider. Hello and welcome to Motorsport TV Live. I'm Diana Binks with all the latest motorsport news. Halami Nayar at nine hours postponed due to COVID. Super GT title still within reach for Bertrand Baguette and WTCR reveal 2022 calendar. All the stories and more coming up here on Motorsport TV Live. Starting with Formula One and Jos Capito believes the Volkswagen Group would not waste its time attending meetings about regulations if it was not serious about a possible future entry. The VW Group is known to be considering a potential entry to Formula One under the next cycle of power unit regulations due in 2026 with either Porsche or Audi. Asked how serious he believed the VW Group was, Capito said, I believe it very much depends on the regulations and the engine regulations for 26 are not yet out. I think it all depends on that. They have been part of the discussions and I don't think they would waste their time in going to these meetings, especially also the CEO coming to those meetings and not being serious. W Series driver Abby Eaton has revealed that she has suffered two fractured vertebrae after she ran over the sausage curbs during the season finale in Austin, Texas. She was initially diagnosed with a fractured T4 vertebra from the impact, but has since announced on her social media sites that she has a second fracture, saying good news is the fractures are currently stable and my brace stays on for three months, but I can start physical rehab. The incident prompted concern from the Grand Prix Drivers Association director, Sebastian Vettel, who then said, I think we have to take the sausage curbs off because we have had two injuries that were unnecessary. The sausage curbs were put in place to stop drivers going off the track, but they have been responsible for a number of airborne incidents recently. After the incident, Eaton said it was ridiculous that there was no need for the curbs to be at the situated at the boundaries of the circuit in Texas. Sports Car News Now and the final round of the Intercontinental GT Challenge scheduled for next month has been postponed in the wake of the latest developments in the COVID pandemic. The Kailami Nine Hours will not take place on its original date of the 4th of December as a result of restrictions imposed on travel to and from South Africa by multiple countries following the detection of a new strain of the coronavirus in the country. A new date for the race is due to be announced next Monday, according to a joint statement from the series organiser Stefan Rissell organisation and the local promoter. Do stay with us, we've lots more news from the world of motorsport coming up here on Motorsport TV Live. Super GT news now and rookie racing Toyota driver Kenta Yamashita has snatched pole position for this weekend's Fiji finale, beating Honda's pre-race points leader Naoki Yamamoto. Yamashita had already broken his own benchmark from 2020 in free practice before going on to secure pole and set a new lap record. It was the Honda of Yamamoto which took second with Raya Hirakawa for Toms in third. Meanwhile, Bertrand Baguette is adamant that beating fellow Honda driver Noki Yamamoto to the Super GT title remains possible, despite a poor qualifying showing for the real racing squad at Fuji Speedway. Real duo Baguette and Cody Sukakoshi face an eight-point deficit to Team Kanemutsu driver Yamamoto, meaning a victory for the number 17 car in this weekend's final round of the season would earn them the title if Yamamoto and Tadasuki Akino finish third or lower. However, the pair could only manage 10th place on the grid during qualifying, leaving them with a large hill to climb. We still believe we have a chance, Baguette told Motorsport.com. We'll give it everything to recover from our poor qualifying, but it's definitely not the best way to start the weekend. We are not where we should be. 
And don't forget, you can catch all the action from the final round of the Super GT Series from Fuji on Motorsport TV this weekend. The race gets underway on Sunday at 1pm local time. And that's not all. You can also catch not one, but two World Touring Car Cup races this weekend. There's one on track in Sochi for round 15 and round 16 of the championship on Sunday. And of course, that's all live and it's all on Motorsport TV this weekend. And finally, some WTCR news where the series has revealed its 2022 calendar, including a return to the classic street circuit of Pau in France for the first time since 2009, as well as a return to its traditional Macau season finale. The calendar will expand from eight events in 2021 to 10 events next year, including a three-round Asian leg subject to travel restrictions and protocols. Series boss Francois Ribeiro said a return to the number of rounds held before the pandemic was always the intention. We are therefore very pleased we have been able to achieve this target by working in partnership with the FIA. The season will begin at Most in the Czech Republic in April. Well, that's it for now. I'm Diana Binks. Join us again here on Motorsport TV Live for all the latest news from the world of motorsport. Bye for now.